Hello, everybody. Hi, people. Hello. How are you today? How are you today? Welcome back. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo le fue ayer en su little break? En su pequeño receso. How was your day, guys? Is everything good? Good. Okay, nice. Okay, tonight we are going to continue talking about uh, family members. If you remember about last class, we were talking about that. And tonight we are going to do some exercises uh, to review some new vocabulary that we couldn't cover in last class. So we are going to study more vocabulary about family members. Then we are going to talk about our families. Like in the video that is in the platform. I guess uh, all of you have uh, already seen that. And tonight you will have the opportunity to talk about your family. About uh, if you have children or if you don't have children, you can talk about your brothers and sisters your parents, what they do, and all of that. Uh, we are going to participate. All of you are going to talk about your families. So I hope you have seen the video to have an idea. And also I'm going to present my family. I'm going to talk about my family too. So you will have an example how to do that. It's similar to the video. It will be something easy, not not any not something complicated. So you will have the chance to talk about that. And the ones who can participate today, we are going to talk about their family tomorrow. So I'm going to take note who participate today, and the ones who are going to uh, pass tomorrow. So get ready. But before that, we are going to recall about the family members. So welcome back, guys. Uh, I hope you have a good day to, today. And let's start with the class. Let's start um, with the presentation. Uh, let's see. Today is Wednesday, August uh, 11th, and this is class number 12. So as I was telling you, we are going to talk about our families, but before that, we are going to review some new vocabulary about family members. So can you hear, can you see the, the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Uh, here is some vocabulary that is not included in the video that is in the platform. So in the first line, in the first line, we have uh, uh, the great grandfathers. Uh, do you know what is what is the meaning? of great-grandfather and great-grandmother. What is the meaning? Tatarabuelos. Yeah. Abuelo? Tatarabuelos, yeah. No, I mean, this, that, will, that one will be um, bisabuelos because tatarabuelos is great great grandfather and great great grandmother so to say this one is bisabuelo and to say bisabuelos uh, we say great grandparents 
and as well, grandfather plus grandmothers equals grandparents. And to say it, uh, well, we have father and mother, we say parents, we don't say fathers, because father is, um, is male, the gender. We say parents, my parents, not my fathers. Okay, also we have aunt and uncle. Then we have daughter and sons that together we say sibling when we talk about our brothers and well well yes our brothers and our sisters they together are siblings then we have grandson and granddaughter that equals grandchildren after that we have cousin nephew niece and then we have sister in love brother in love that i guess you already know what is the meaning so if you don't have a, any question we are going to develop uh, some exercises some questions about family members if you don't have any question we are going to continue with the exercises Okay, let's sister in law and brother in law is when um, son hijo de tu madrastro. Well, sister in law, sister in law will be imagine I have a girlfriend and that girlfriend have a brother. Uh, her brother will be my brother in law. Or if mm -hmm. she has a sister, her sister will be my sister in love. So how do you say hermanastro? No, they will be my cuñado or cuñado. No, como diría entonces hermanastro? That is step brother or step daughter. Oh. Step brother or, or stepsister. That is Ten. hermanastra or hermanastra. In the other slide, there is an exercise related to that. In this part. So what we are going to do is uh, to analyze the question and to guess what is the, the relationship between uh, the people who is in the question. I mean, in the question, I'm sorry. Okay, this is the question. What is their, their relationship between, in this case, a boy and a girl who are dating? Who are dating? Do you know what is dating? To go in a date? Do you know what is dating? If you have no, a, said. yeah, if you have a date, uh, that means that you like that girl or that boy. So then you become a couple. You don't say boyfriends because boyfriend is for men. You say a couple. If a girl and a boy I, are dating, they are a couple not boyfriends because boyfriend will be a man with another man and a girl with a boy is a couple okay the next next one you are going to guess it what is the relationship between a boy and the brother of his girlfriend that is the example that it's brother-in-law. Brother girlfriend, man. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> brother-in-law. Girlfriend. They are not married. <laughs> they are not married. <laughs> Sorry. So, they, uh, well, he will be the brother-in-law. 
Then, what is the relationship between a girl and the mother of her boyfriend? I'm sorry. A girl and the mother of her boyfriend. Mother-in-law. Yes. Let's see. Mother-in-law, yes. That is the relationship. Then we have a man and the daughter of his wife. That is not actually his daughter. It's not the daughter's man. Uh, I mean, the daughter's, yeah, the daughter's man. The stepdaughter. Stepdaughter. The stepdaughter. stepdaughter. Correct. Then we have a girl and the son of the, her, her stepfather. Stepbrother. 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 That is, that was the question that the, our participant was asking. Then we have another one. The boyfriend or girlfriend of your daughter or son. What is their relationship? Wife. The boyfriend of your daughter or the girlfriend of your son. If you have a son I and your son see. has or stepmother. Okay, if you have a son and your son has a girlfriend, what is the relationship with uh, the girlfriend of your son? That would be son in love or daughter in love. Like cuñado, but in this case, would be the nuera, the nuera or the yerno. Okay, and what is the relationship between the man or woman that you got married? The man or the woman you got married? Wife or the man? Husband. Or wife. wife. Husband or wife. Or husband. Yes. Husband and wife. Wife. Okay, nice. And what is the relationship between a boy and the father of his girlfriend? Father in law. Father in law. Father in law, yes. Very nice. Then we have another one. What is the relationship between a woman and the son of her husband? That is not her son. Mm. It's the son. Stepson. Step. Stepson. Stepson. Yeah. And finally, uh, you and the son of your aunt. What is the relationship? Cousin. Cousin. Cousin, yes. Cousin. Cousin. Okay. If you can see a stepson, a step uh, daughter, are when uh, you are not uh, wait, directly uh, related to that person, to that people. Imagine if your father uh, has another wife that is not your mother, she will be your stepmother. And if your mother uh, get married with another man, that man will be your stepfather. And their children will be your stepbrothers or your stepsisters. Is that clear? Is this vocabulary clear, guys? Yes. Is something yes. new for you or you already know that? Or there are some new vocabulary that you didn't know? Maybe the step. Step uh, brother, step daughter. Correct. Or, or step sister. 
Okay, that is the new vocabulary. Okay, there is another vocabulary about family members. Uh, we have dad. What is another way to say that? Papa. Uh, another father. way to say father. When a, a little kid. Daddy. Daddy. Yeah, call daddy. to their dad. They say daddy. daddy. In a very, um, I would say, uh, in a very cute way, they say daddy. And also mom, they say mommy. Mommy, mommy. mommy. Look at this, it's, it's, this is not mommy in Spanish, this is mommy. <laughs> 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 okay, another word. What is a godfather? And a godmother. What is that? What is that uh, family member meaning? Madrino. Godfather Madrino. and godmother. Yes, that is the meaning. When you go to a bautism to your sons or to your daughter, you need a godfather and, and a godmother. So that is the meaning. <coughs> And also another way to say grandfather or grandmother, we say grandma. That means abuelita or abue, like the children call the grandparents. And also grandpa, that is abue or abuelito. And we have this word relative that means uh, a family member in general. When you go to a to a birthday or or anything, any party, and you go to you to your family, all your family, all all your family are your relatives. It's not uh, your familiars. No, you say relative. In Spanish, we say familiares. But in English, it's not it's not familiars. It's relative. Okay, is that clear? That word relative. Yes. We don't say familiars. We say relative. They are my relatives. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see. We are going to talk about this picture. And you are going to tell me some, some options that we can make from these pictures. For example, they could be a wife and a husband, but they also can be another, can have another relationship. We are going to... Friends, boyfriend and girlfriend. Okay, let's see. Let me share another another time. Okay, what what are the options? Friends. They can be friends. Father and daughter. Uh, father and daughter. Nice. What else? What else? Uh, they can be siblings. They can be siblings. Nice. What else? Let's um, analyze. A couple. They can be a couple. Another option. Okay. It can be told. Her stepfather. I step uh, father with a uh, stepdaughter.
stepdaughter. What else? There are many possibilities. Tell me at least uh, five more. Five more possibilities. Uncle and niece. Mm. Uncle. Step brother. Step brothers or step siblings. Step siblings. What else? Sugar daddy. Uh, repeat again, please. Daddy and, and, and what was the other one? Sugar daddy. Ha, sugar daddy. <laughs> very nice. It's very common uh, in these days. Sugar daddy and the, and the sugar girl. What else? They can be just for general knowledge. They can be friend with benefits. We are friends with benefits. Uh, sister, sister in law, in law. Sister in law. And what? Um, brother in law. And brother in law. Okay, very nice. Another possibility. The last one. Yeah. Girlfriend and boyfriend. Uh, that is already told here. A couple. A couple. Okay. And that could be a marriage. A marriage. Husband and wife. Maybe. Oh, that that is the the first one. But we call that a marriage. Do you have another one, another possibility? Neighbors or, I don't know, how do you say the thing? Neighbors, uh, but they are not yeah. part of the family, but that can be, or in this, in that case could be this one, only lovers, that they are not married, they are not a couple, but they I, they kiss each other, they hug each other. I, I don't recommend that because it's, um, it's not a good idea to cheat on your, on your girlfriend or, or boyfriend. You will get in trouble if you have that, that kind of relationship. You will get in trouble. This is just for general knowledge. Friend with benefits, sugar daddy uh, are very common uh, nowadays. It's very common because people is very open-minded today. But I will recommend you to keep loyal to your to your couple. Okay, very nice, good examples. Uh, if you don't have any questions, or do you have any question about this? about this um, family members or relationship? No. Okay, let, let's see what, what time is it? It is 8.24, we have time. So we have time to present the, the other topic, which is talking about our family or your family. So as I told you, we are going to present our family. 
in this case, th this is my example. You are going to talk about your family, but this is my example. This is a, a, a real case. Okay, you can start talking about your, if you have children, you can talk about your, ch your children. In my case, I don't have any children, so I will talk about my siblings. So listen, I will start. Okay, my name is Diego and I come from a really big family. I'm not married and I don't have any children. I live with my parents. I have four brothers and five sisters. Thanks to them, uh, I have 13 nieces and nephews. Two of my, of my nephews already have a job. One is studying the university and the rest of them in the school and high school. My elder sister lives in San Miguel and the other ones live in San Salvador. Three of my brothers live in the United States. One um, here in El Salvador, I don't have a pet because my mom is allergic to animals, but my sister has a dog and I love playing with her because she's a, a girl, she's a she dog. I love spending time with my family, especially when we get together and celebrate birthday. So that was my example. You can talk about uh, about any family member that you have. And for that, we are going to, as I told you, you, you all are going to participate tonight or tomorrow. That can be short, uh, a short paragraph, a short, a short talk. As long as you talk about your family, uh, that would be okay. So who wants to begin? Who wants to, to be the first one? Or I will tell you for the order that you are going to participate. And I will take note if you participate today or you will participate tomorrow. So who wants, who wants to begin? So say me, Sandra. Uh, my name is Sandra. Uh, okay. I have a little family. Uh, I am not married. I had a, a daughter. She, ha she has 60 years old. Uh, I live with, with her. Uh, my, my parents live near to me. Uh, with, I had a sister, uh, she lived from my house, and I, I had a brother uh, who, who lived in Los Angeles. Uh, okay. uh, how do you say medio hermano? Um, that would be half brother. Half brother? No, I don't listen. Oh. Step brother. Step, ah, yes. I have five ste step brother and five and three step sister and two step brother. Uh, they live in, they are living in USA. Mm. I live in San Salvador. I have two pets. Uh, okay. It's a dog. And I, I spend my time with my family in weekend, on weekend. On weekend. Only that. Okay. Thanks. Very nice, Patricia. Sandra, I mean. Yes. Uh, thank you for your participation. And I have already taken note that you participate today. So I want another volunteer. It, it's not necessary to be very long, just a, a, a short explanation. 
Who wants to be the next? Can I try? But can I try? But I have I um I have so. <coughs> But I can try to speak. Okay, uh, Manuel, you are going to be the next one. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, my name is uh, Manuel Palacios. <clears throat> um, I I live with, well, I, I'm married and I have a, a daughter. Uh, she is uh, almost three years old. And I have uh, six uh, siblings, four brothers and two sisters. Uh, my, my dad and my, and, and my mom live in the United States with all my uh, siblings <clears throat> and I uh, with my wife and with my grandmother and that's all. <laughs> okay, nice. So you are the only one who lives here in El Salvador? Yes. Because your parents uh, and siblings live in the United States, you say? Yes, okay. uh, I, 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 como se eh, crece, grew, grew up, I grew up, grew up, uh, grew, grew, grew up with my sister, but she traveled to the United States a long time ago, and I decided to uh, stay here with my grandmother, okay. and with the time I decided to stay here in the country. Okay. Like me, like, because my brothers, uh, they moved to the United States, but I never wanted to go uh, like them. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Manuel. I would like to participate. Saul. Okay, Saul, go. Go ahead. Okay, uh, I would like to tell you uh, something about myself. Uh, my name is Saul Arnulfo. Um, I am uh, 24 years old. Uh, I live in Chalatenango. Uh, I live with my family, my parents. Uh, I have two brothers and two sisters. Uh, also, I have a, a dog. The name is the name is Rocky. Uh, my family is big because uh, I have brothers in the United States, um, in San Salvador. Uh, I don't know. So, yes. Okay, nice. So almost uh, all of all of us have a family in the United States. So thank you, uh, Saul. You're welcome. And next volunteer, what I will choose. Me, teacher. Uh, what's, Me? Your, what's your name? Uh, I, Sulma. I okay, Sulma. Okay, Tell me my about name is your Sulma. Family. Okay. Yes. My name is Sulma. I am married. I have uh, one children. I have uh, one brother and one sister. I don't have a nice. I have my parent alive. My sister just got married. My brother is not married yet. He live with my parents. He is studying at the university. We are live nice. uh, in a popa. Okay. Thank you, Sulma. So you are married, yeah. right? Okay. okay, very nice. Um, 
next volunteer to talk about your family. Thank you, sir. Uh, what's your name? Manuel Orellana. Okay, Manuel Orellana. I'm going, I'm taking notes. Yes. Hello, my name is Manuel Orellana and I come from a big family too, not, not like yours, but I have four brothers and two sisters. I married two and I have two children, one boy that he's six years old and the daughter is one and a half year. And I have three of my brothers in the United States. Uh, I visited about two years ago and I have one pet is one female dog. Uh, that's that's unique that what i i that, have that's all that's all yes <laughs> okay so you you travel to the united states like yes two years I ago you say. yes and where are they living in which state uh two of them are in new jersey and and when i when I was is in Philadelphia, where where is my brother? Uh, how is like the older? The, I okay, the elder. Correct. And I have two two sisters here. That one of them he has three children, and the other two children that are studying in the university. Ah, uh, very nice. They are, uh, they are all there. Okay. Yes. Uh, as you can see in my example, let me use the laser pointer. I say in here, my elder sister, I don't Salve. say all there. Uh, because to talk about, um, in this case, to talk about uh, siblings or people, we say elder. That means that, that she is the first one from the all the siblings. Okay. Okay, that, that is why I, I put that in here. So... It's correct as well to say older. Just you to know, just for you to know. Thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you, Manuel. Uh, next volunteer. I have, we have uh, 20 more minutes, so we, we have time to more people to participate. So who wants to I want to... Silvia. My name is okay. Silvia Merlos. And I have two sisters. And one lives in Las Vegas and, and the youngest sister lives with me in San Miguel. And I am divorced. And uh, I, I adopt a kid. He's um, eight years old. Um, uh, I have two nephews uh, of my sister who lives in Las Vegas. My um, sister in Chagua, La Unión. And I have a pet. Her name is Cookie. And it's very, it's a lovely dog. It's a big dog, yes. but it's, it's very, very, it's, I don't know how, how to say it, but muy cariñosa. And I love to spend time with my family when 
and my sister comes uh, come to El Salvador. Um, I only have two two nephews, and I I can see very often because very they live very very far. That's all. Okay, thank you, Silvia. So you can um, you say at the end at the end that you don't see your nephews very often. No, because they live no, uh, far much. away. Yes. Oh, okay. And uh, I, my father and my mother died a few years ago. I'm sorry um, to. I'm sorry I, to hear that. So that's good that you also say that you adopted a, a, a son. Yes. Yes. Okay, that's, that's nice. Uh, yes. That's nice. Thank you, Sylvia, for sharing your, uh, to, to talk about your family. And um, let's see. Who else is going to participate today? Me, teacher. Uh, what's your name? Carolina. Okay, Carolina, let me take notes. Okay, hello, my name is Carolina and I come from a small family. I live with my parents in San Salvador and I have only one brother and he lives in front of me in the same neighborhood. And I have one niece and one nephew. And one of them have 10 months and the other have two years. Okay, nice. That's all? Yes, teacher. Uh, who do you live with? I live in San Salvador with my parents. Ah, with your parents. And you say that, uh, I'm sorry if I couldn't hear you, but I will ask you again. Uh, you say that you didn't, you don't have uh, children. No, I don't have, uh, I am not married. Ah, you're not married, nice. You only have nephews and niece. Yes, two. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you, Carolina, for sharing about your family. Okay, I need another one. As you can see, it's very easy. It's very Me. simple. Uh, Brenda. Yes, uh, my, na my name is Brenda. I live alone. No. <laughs> I don't marry it. I don't have um, some, and I don't have children. I have boyfriend and como si antes. I was lived with my mother and my brother, so my stepbrother, because I don't have father but I have a an stepfather and a stepsister. Okay. So I think, I feel how, I feel like they are my siblings because I, wa I get up with them signs, I was five years old. Okay, nice, Brenda. So you grew up with them since you were a, a child, a very child. Yes. So you feel like they are your real brothers and sisters. Yes. And you have a good relationship with them. 
Okay, thank you. That's very good to know. Thank you for sharing with us. And I need, uh, we have uh, 15 more minutes. We have time to talk about your family. So I will, I need another volunteer. Me, teacher. Who say me? Uh, what's your name, mister? Jose Navarrete. Okay, Jose Navarrete. I, I can hear you. Okay. Um, hello, my name is Alberto Nav Jose Alberto Navarrete. And I have 39 years old. I am Mario. Uh, I have two children, a boy and a girl. And my parents live in the same neighborhood. Um, I have one brother and, and I have two nieces. And my brother is, uh, excuse me, uh, I am Mario. Um, I live in San Salvador. Okay, very nice. Uh, do you have any pet? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I have um, a, a cat and a turtle. A cat and a turtle. That's nice. I... Okay, thank you, Jose. Uh, I guess this is the first time that, that I hear you. Um, no. Uh, or you are always I... here. Yes, yes, I'm uh, behind. Okay, nice. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay, good. Um, after Jose, who wants to be the next one? My name is Jose Luis. Okay, Jose Luis, go. I, I, I not Maria. I live in with with daddy. I am one dog. I am sibling. My sister. I have Anna. I have Imelda. I live in, in your state. Uh, my brother, uh, my brother is living in Santa Tecla. And I am living in Cote. One my brother then the San Vicente. Okay. She he ha, he has uh, three three song. Three songs. Only. Sí. Yes. Okay, and um, you say that you have a dog, right? Yes. And what is the name of, of your dog? Uh, is Titan. Titan, okay. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Jose Luis, for sharing okay. with us. I already take note that you participate. Uh, so, um, what's your name? Alma. Okay, Alma, we listen to you. 
Alba. Alba, uh, I'm sorry. Alma Yeraldina, yes. right. Uh, tell me about. Yes, teacher. Vamos a intentar. Okay, go ahead, no problem. Uh, tell me about your. Okay, tell me about your family. My name is Alba Geraldina Perez de Unifacio. Um, I come from a religious family. Um, I have had, I have a husband. I have three sons. Uh, my uh, my parents dear. Uh, I have four brothers. I live in Santa Tecla. Um, I am a lawyer. Nice. Um, okay, good. Uh, so you are married. You live in Santa Tecla. Uh, okay. Do you have uh, children? Uh, sons. Uh, hijos, Three. Uh, no, adol adolescentes. Three sons. Uh, teenagers. Yes, teacher. Uh, very nice. And what are their names? La um, edad. The names. Ah, los nombres Andrea, eh, Gerardo y Ever Francisco. Ah, okay. And they study in high school or in university. School? In the university. University, yes. The three. Yes. Uh, that's very nice. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, Alba. Thank you uh, for talking about your family. Uh, I already take notes. And uh, we have uh, eight more minutes, so we have time for at least three, three more. Okay. To say me. What, what's your name? Uh, my name is Yvette. Okay, Yvette. Okay. Okay, um, go ahead. okay, my name is Yvette. My family is uh, small. I live in with my mother, my sister, and my niece of uh, he has uh, four years old, and my sister studies at the University of El Salvador, and I too. And we live in, in Tonacatepec City, and I have two cats. Their names are Kirara and Copo. Nothing more. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. So you are studying the Universidad del Salvador, right? Yes. And as well, your sister. Uh, what What do you study? Only Only you. Okay. Um, okay. I. What do you study? Uh, I study in... Um, Five years last uh, last year and study environmental um, health. Salud ambiental. <laughs> environment health. Yes. Okay, that's nice. This is your last year, so congratulations. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> congratulations. That's good to know. Okay, thank you, uh, Yvette. One more, please. Uh, who wants to, to participate today? Me, teacher. Okay, Alejandra Elizabeth. Yes. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Well, my name is Alejandra. I grew up with my mother and my godparents. In this moment, I live alone and here in San Salvador. 
Mm, I have one sister and she lives in United States. She's married and I have one niece and um, one nephew. And only that. <laughs> okay, nice. Thank you, Alejandra. Uh, so you grew up with your godfather, but you got uh, parents. Godparents parents and my mother. Ah, okay. Okay, thank you, Alejandra. Uh, we have time to for two more participants. So if you want to pass today, uh, you can do that. If you want to pass tomorrow, you can uh, think about a little bit more about you are going to say. You can write a little paragraph like this one. Or you can pass today. No worries. Me, teacher. Um, go ahead. Uh, what's your name? Hello, my name is Koritza and I am not married and I don't have any children. Uh, I live in San Salvador with my best friend and her husband. Uh, I have a pet, her name is Dolly. Uh, my family live in Chalatenango. I have two brothers and one sister. My sister has three daughters and only that okay three daughters so yes and you have a pet is a cat or a dog it's a dog her name is dolly ah dolly yes okay very nice thank you Koritza. you're welcome i guess as well, this is the first time that I hear you. So that's good, you to participate. Thank you. Okay, one more volunteer. I guess will be the last one for today. One more volunteer. Or I will... Luis. Sí. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, Luis. Luis Alonso, go ahead. My name is Luis Alonso Palacios. I come from a reality small family. I marry Maria. I have uh, three son. I live with. Uh, I don't live with my parents. I have uh, two bro, two sisters, and five two sisters. Uh, I have uh, two two nieces and one nephew. Uh, okay, two nieces and one nephew. Nephew, one yes. nephew, one nephew. Uh, is studying in the uh, university. One, okay. one nep nephew. Uh, Two, two uh, nieces, uh, instituto. Okay. Study. In high school. And you say you have children? Do you have any In, daughter or, or son? I, it is a son, son. Three. You have three sons. So, serían, uh, este, 
dos, dos hijos y una hija. Ok, you have two sons and one daughter. Ok, it's nice. Uh, let me see, Luis. Thank you for sharing with us about your family. So okay. we, we are going to stop here because it's, it's 9 p.m. So thank you for the ones who share uh, about your families. And for the ones who couldn't pass today, uh, you are going to, you have time to prepare a little paragraph about your family. And so you have, uh, you will have another chance to pass tomorrow. Lo que no pasaron ahora pueden uh, preparar un pequeño párrafo de su familia similar al que yo les presenté. Similar a lo que sus compañeros dijeron, pueden hablar de sus hermanos o si tienen hijos, pueden hablar de, de, de cualquier cosa de sus padres. Entonces mañana vamos a continuar con los que no pudieron pasar hoy. Um, ya anoté a los que pasaron ahora, así que los de mañana uh, ahí los vamos a buscar. We are going to look for you. <laughs> so you, you have time to prepare a, a little paragraph. No es necesario que sea tan largo. As long as you talk about your family, uh, that's okay. That is the purpose that you talk about your family, your family members. Okay, that's all for tonight. Thank you for coming, guys. Okay. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going to share with you the presentation. So they see want you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Sleep well. Thank you. Thank you.